Yo, there's Spanish and Sharks. Ace in Vegas here. Hope you're doing well. And I am joined by my boy, Josh. Two fab dudes. Josh, say what's up. What's going on? All right, and we are starving, actually. We spent all day hanging out with Lucky Dog Swats and Kano Kid and the whole crew over there. And they only feed us alcohol. They don't offer us any dinner. So we thought we'd go ahead and use our Diamond Celebration dinners here at Pub and Grill with Gordon Ramsay. That's probably not even in frame, but regardless, let's get started. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. All right, Spinners and Sharks, we are officially seated over here. Just going over the menu with my boy Josh over here. Josh, have you popped on camera right now? You probably already have. We already filmed the intro, but I'm gonna pop you on to the camera right now. Shout outs to Two Fab Dudes. If you haven't subscribed to Two Fab Dudes, check out the link in the description box below. We are gonna go do some good stuff, and we're gonna look over the menu right now, so hang tight. So I was looking for the prime rib tonight at Gordon Ramsay Pub, um, but they were out of that, so I went with the... We gotta check, we gotta double check the menu. We went with the strip, right? I went with the New York strip, so I think that's gonna be really good, especially at a Gordon Ramsay restaurant. Yeah, for sure. And some asparagus. Yeah. Now I figured out how to get some, uh, some mash. It's cheddar mash, some mashed potatoes. And you gotta do that mid-rare, um, what, what do we call that, filet mignon, no? Yes. My French accent is atrocious. <laughs> it's astonishing I speak it. I don't really speak it. Do I really speak it? I don't know, we'll find out later. But we're gonna find out. We're also gonna see if we can use uh, double celebration dinners over here. And I think we had an appetizer too, because someone snuck in an appetizer. Yes, we've got the, we've got the main lobster and shrimp rolls, so. That's good. Oh, that is. That's a good call, because, you know, we've been drinking before this. We're hanging out with Ducky Dog and the rest of the crew, so, you know. We need some food. We definitely need some food. All right, so we got those lobster rolls over here. It's lobster and shrimp, or is it just lobster? It is lobster and shrimp. It is lobster and shrimp, okay, and then they got some arugula or whatever on top. I can't really tell what the garnish is. Can you tell? Arugula sounds great. That sounds That's legit. Good. Okay, I approve that. And we'll have to try a piece of that. Okay, we got clean pallets over here. We drank our water. Time for some lobster rolls, shall we? Do it. Alright, one a piece. Probably should do this with a fork. I'm not gonna, because I'm a savage. <laughs> Alright, try a little piece of the lobster roll here. Oh. Mmm, that hits really good. Got the onions. Yeah, got real lobster in there. It mixes real nice. The, the bread is flaky. It's not dry though, it's buttery. Wow. Just wow. I don't I don't even know I don't have any criticisms for this. That's awesome. I'm not ready for this. I usually have a criticism. Usually it's something like it's a bit dry, usually it's like, you know, it's a bit too much of this, but it just works. This is five out of five, no question. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. That's just good. It's great. No, no, try it out, try it out. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong. You have to try it. He's giving it a go now. Like, please tell me you have something bad to say about it, right? I can't. It's fresh. Like, the bread is amazing. Yep. Like, nothing bad about this. It's just so I, I think we're stuck at a 5 out of 5. No choice on that. No choice. 
So, Josh, what you drinking over there, man? I got a boring ass Sam Adams. What you get? This is Goodbye Blue Sky. And but it's red. Why is it red? Right? I don't know. Red, red, red. Maybe it's because it's a blue sky. They don't want you to remember that because it's red. Super good. Whatever is in it. Maybe down below. Yeah, we'll probably put that down below. I guess I'll put it on the screen. I don't know. We'll find out when I edit it. Oh, it's a good choice. We'll probably do that. Yeah, we, we, we couldn't even review the drinks properly. They already have food out here for us. All right, we got basically everything like mid-rare. That's probably why it's out so early. But I picked up the Flea Mignon. My boy Josh got that uh, New York strip over there. I'd poke it with my fork, but that'd be terribly rude. We also got the cheddar mash over here. He's gonna poke it with his fork. He's indulging me, I appreciate you. <laughs> you got that mid, right? You got that mid? All right. All right. Yeah, the, the filet mignon, I know you're supposed to get it med medium rare. I usually get my steaks mid, but I figure because it's a min mignon, you gotta do that. It still feels hot though. I haven't even finished the lobster roll, and we got that asparagus over here too, so. Yeah, I guess now it's time to get down. We just gotta get down now, I guess, at this point. <laughs> All right, so you got that medium, right? Oh, that medium. is juicy. Best way to be. Best way to be. It's like the state gods in heaven are just like shining upon me. Ah. Perfect. And this is the pub, oh, guys. <laughs> so, Josh, out of five, what would you give that, bro? If I'm rating a um, steak five out of five, it's a five. Mm. Honestly, that's perfect. impressive. It is perfect. That's impressive. He's going back for more. So good. Didn't even ask him. He's just going for it. It is amazing. <laughs> nice. All right, and we're going for the mains over here. It's time. We're doing the filet mignon. I got that mid-rare. Y'all always tell me mid-rare. Yeah, and they cook it to order. I'll tell you what. But it's still hot. So, here we go. Oh, that melts. Wow. Mmm. Mm. You know the best part? Josh didn't even eat the light of the waitress. It's seasoned well. It's hot, but it's still cooked to the right temperature. And that just melts right there. Like, dang. Like, and it's charred on the outside. Beautiful charred. Like, perfect. You just get all this flavor. And I'm just like, like normally I'll mix it with something, I'll cut something, I'll put something in it and all that, but it's just... Mmm! I don't even know what to say! We're at a pub! <laughs> We're at a pub! I don't know! Mmm! Wow! That's a straight up 5 out of 5! I try not to give too many of those! <laughs> I have to give one! Wait, and let me try the potatoes. I'll try the potatoes. Potatoes are all right. They're really light. They're fluffy. They're really light and fluffy, but they don't taste of much else. You get a little bit of, they, they very much taste the potato, which is fine, I guess. I was expecting more cheddar flavor, expecting a little more onion. I was expecting it to be richer. So I guess that's a soft four out of five, maybe a hard three out of five, soft four out of five. So those are fine. They're fine, definitely. I guess I'll try a bit of the asparagus. Maybe that'll be it. Maybe that'll be the criticism, but the, the meat! Ah. Alright. Yeah, the asparagus. I mean, I guess it's about as good as asparagus is gonna taste. That's a, again, a soft 4 out of 5. It's fine. It's good stuff. Maybe a hard 3 out of 5. It's asparagus. 
I don't think asparagus is going to taste much better. I, I definitely prefer more salt in it. I think same deal with the uh, with the potatoes, like more salt and maybe a little more seasoning, that sort of thing there. But it's workable. Like, you can live with it. Josh has invited me to try a piece of the uh, newer strip over here, so I'm going to try some of that. He got his medium, just by the way. Oh. That's still so juicy. That's the thing, it's still charred, like crisp on the outside, it's still flavorful. But it's still juicy. That's it. That's it, man. And you get the Sam Adams to finish it off? I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Yeah. <laughs> That's that New York trip. That's just it. I'm just thinking about this now. There is something that we forgot about the asparagus. It comes with a sauce. Oh, no. Yeah, so we have to try it with the sauce now. There's a sauce to it. So now I got I got to put a little bit on my plate over here. So now we have to try the asparagus right. again, but this time with the sauce. So I'm gonna leave that with you, sir. I put a little on my plate. Let, let's try. I think we should try it right now. Now that we've had some steaks. And I forget what this was. It's probably like horseradish or hollandaise or something like that. I don't actually know. I feel like it could be a hollandaise. It probably is. Here we go. And that could be the deal breaker right there. This tastes more like a hollandaise. I don't think it is, but it tastes more like a hollandaise. That's interesting. It's good. Not bad. Yeah, I'll put that at a soft four out of five. Oh man, though, that was a that was a good dinner. I gotta admit, that, that was, was a amazing. good dinner. Hundred percent. Like, uh, hang on, let me let me get Josh up in here. How are you holding up, man? I'm looking at this. Like, you, you, this is looking pretty clean. That's it. Man, you better finish it. I'll put in the Mortal Kombat clip right now. Finish him. Finish him. Josh had to indulge just a little bit. We got the pretzel brownie. More accurately, he got the pretzel brownie. Y'all know I'm not much of a much of a dessert guy. That's a Wonder Woman sort of thing right there. Don't forget to put down a hashtag. Let's say it's more Wonder Woman in the description box below <laughs> if you guys want to see. Uh, down in the description box in the comment section down below if you guys want to see her doing some res dessert reviews or something like that then we can finally talk her into it but yeah let's uh let's check this out so josh you ready to check this action out over here man all right should i take one too i don't know let's go for it all right cheers mate we'll get a little bit of that oh wow that is soft wow that went straight through that went straight through gatos meos look at that brownie wow that looks rich. That looks thick AF. Holy crap. Man, thicker than oatmeal. No <laughs> question. No question. All right, here we go. One, two, three. No. Oh. Peanut butter. That's the first thing I tasted. Peanut butter? Did you do that on purpose? That's a dang good brown. Wow, it's not even that sweet either. That's actually really impressive. It's very dark. Yeah, you know, it's not sugary or anything like that. This is really good. Wow. That is like a molten brownie right there. So literally anything but the sides. If you get anything but the sides here, you're doing great. You're spot on, really. Wow. I don't even know what to say. Another home run. Damn. Mm -hmm. GG no re, five out of five, no questions asked. Gordon has beat some ass yet again. Mm -hmm. Where's better than the sticky toffee pudding, though. Oh, uh, better than the sticky Alright, so you say this over sticky toffee pudding. 100%. Honestly, if you want some Gordon Ramsay style food, you want a steak, amazing. The sides are okay, mm -hmm. the drinks are pretty good, yeah. but the meat is where it's at. Alright, and you know all about the meat. <laughs> good night everybody. Did I do that to myself? That's usually a Roger job. <laughs> usually he makes the joke and then I say good night everybody. 
Hey! <laughs> uh, mad shout out to Two Fat Zoos for joining me. Shout out to Josh over here. Appreciate you coming through. Um, but yeah, no, it was a really great time. Um, if you're looking for a pretty casual experience, you don't want to get dressed up, but you still want some really amazing food, some great drinks and all that. And you know, the sides are okay. It's all good stuff. I mean, overall experience, I'll still give it a five out of five. The sides weren't perfect, but you know what? I don't care about the sides. The drinks were what we wanted. The mains were what we wanted. The ambiance is what we wanted. It's everything we wanted, and then a little extra. So, we'll call that a win. Alright there, spinners and sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's review and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Once again, special shout out to Josh from Two Fab Dudes for joining us on this food review. If you haven't checked out their channel already, I'll put a link to it in the description box below. Are you planning a visit to Gordon Ramsay Pub and Grill anytime soon? Or have you already been and have some thoughts about it? Whatever they may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out and I'm wishing you all strong hands and, of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva. Viva, viva, it's a big guy.